Mommy, you fill up this one. Daddy will fill up this one. <coughs> Hello and welcome back to Diffley's Family Farm. As you can see, we have loads and loads of eggs on our hands. Um, <clears throat> we got 30 laying hens back in September, so it's about two and a half months ago now. And we were hoping to have a bit of time with them before they'd start to lay, but they actually started to lay three days after we got them and it was supposed to be three weeks. So we were kind of in a bit of a rush. We had them in the chicken tractor where we had the meat chickens but we needed some nest boxes to keep the eggs clean. So we decided to build a chick shaw. Chick shaw is just basically a rickshaw for chickens where the hens can go in and lay and they can stay in there at night and be protected. I was supposed to do this piece of camera outside, but it's wet and windy now. It is the start of November or near coming up to the middle of November and it's wet and windy, so it's not very good for video and outside. But yeah, this is just a video on how we built a chick show and how a chick show works. And yeah, that's it basically. So if you can, like and subscribe. There's lots of new videos coming up because I've got lots of time. Liam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because we've got lots of time in our hands now because um, things are calming down here on the farm a bit now that the weather is a bit worse and the days are a bit shorter. So got lots of content out there. So hope you enjoy this one and there's lots more to come. So the sheep are still getting over missing all their friends, I'm sure. But they've got some new friends coming. Look what we have here. We've got some eight week old turkeys, five of them. They should be ready for Christmas. And then we've got 30 Rhode Island Red laying hens. Delighted. These are going to be great. I'm going to put them into the chicken tractor down the field. I'll put them down into the chicken tractor where the broilers were and they won't be laying for another two or three weeks they're 18 weeks old at the minute the hens and uh, about 20 23 20 22 weeks old i think your man said they're going to start laying hopefully and we'll have 30 eggs a day i think they lay nearly one egg a day for the whole year so we're going to put them down here they've got lots of grass you might see down there uh, lots of grass and i have an egg mobile i have to build for them where there's going to be the permanent kind of uh, housing so they'll just be in here for a few weeks until they start to lay and get used to the place this doesn't happen every day but my cousin turned up at the right time and gets a job so i'm just gonna put all these in here i've topped all this field and got rid of the rushes and i'll just put them in there to this long long grass and they'll be delighted with it for today and it's, it's roasting hot it's a week of good weather now so they should uh, be comfortable outside they're only 18 weeks old and just off heat well the turkeys are just off heat when they're eight eight weeks old we'll have a look in here and see them oh hello and they'll be for christmas dinner not all of them here we go, turkeys will walk out themselves, do you think? They don't know what's going on. How do you open this? Oh! Now, this is the turkey's first time ever seeing grass and it'll be the hen's first time ever seeing grass as well. Four and five. Might be a bit alien to you guys, but you'll get used to it. Oh. There we have it. Everybody's in. They'll be a bit uh, suspect of their new surroundings for a little while, but they'll get used to it after a while. I'll drop in some water now and some feed, and they should be happy out. So here we have the mesh flooring um, attached to the wood. We've just pinned it down with these pins or staples. Um, we've got a one inch mesh here and then a 1.5 inch mesh. It'll be interesting to see if any dung builds up on any of them and which one is worse. Just cable tied these here together. The timber is not the best. Some of it's a bit twisted and bent, but it'll be fine for what we want.
the open from there, there, and you go to the next part, there, build. The next part, side to side. Yeah. Down there and across the back. The next box is going to be hanging outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just leave a hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine, that's completely fine. So do we go down the middle? Yeah. Yeah. So we can turn it over and we'll finish it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be, this is all just going to be the exact same and then the box will be hanging off the end. Or the box will be on the other side. Yeah. So that'll be in the make of a box. Two boxes. Yeah. With a lead round. Is it? No. Yeah. So it's, it's a box that will come at a slant here. Yes. And then a straight wall down. And a bit of a gap on the bottom about that big where the eggs can roll out. And then the eggs will be on a, they'll come in and lay in this pot here. It'll be on a slight slant into a flat box here, so, and this is where you just put your, your lid to connect your eggs. But we've got to do a little bit of work, but that's literally just a hook on type of job. This is as far as we got this evening. Not too bad, I'm happy enough with that. It's not 100% accurate or very technical, but um, it can do exactly what we want to do and it actually looks pretty good. Um, so just to give you a visual, visualization, these handles here, we're debating whether to cut them on off and make different ones, but it'll be like a big massive wheelbarrow. So we'll be taking it, taking it from here. There'll be wheels in the middle, to balance out the weight either side and then the egg boxes we're thinking that we're going to put them on the sides here because we're not going to have enough um, nest box in place in the back four foot might be a bit too small so we'll get about eight foot here and um, this will hold about 40 hens maybe 45 we'll see the roosts are one point nearly one and a half feet apart we're kind of doing things in feet and then centimeters and millimeters at a time so that is or inches and nine millimeters. But they're about a foot and a half apart, so they give them loads of room. There's room for at least six across on each beam. Um, but we'll know more when the hens actually get in there because we're all a bit new to this. But no, it looks pretty good. It looks how I envisioned it, envisioned this. We're gonna put this blue belt here, which is going thrown in the bin so it's good to reuse it and we're going to put that along the sides it won't look the best because it's going to be blue but it'll uh, keep our predators and the weather so we've managed to get the two sides on and we have also managed to get one of the rollaway nest boxes made it's a bit rough and ready but it looks like it's going to do the job and it's come in here lay on these mats so it keeps the eggs clean and then it rolls away from them down to here where hopefully we'll have a, a door here that will lift up and we can access the eggs. This is from the back side. It's going to have the same nest box on the other side and all the hens are going to live in there in the middle. So in the next, inside the nest boxes, um, we have these screws popping down which I don't think I'll get at the hens, but I'm gonna get rid of them anyways. And actually we have some in here as well. We were hanging on the tarp on the side. Do we have any over this side? No. So I think they're on both sides. Yeah, they're definitely on both sides. So I'll get rid of them, keep the hens happy.
Yeah, mister. No one's not gonna get No man. I'm sure we can't use it. No one man. from the bottom, three, four inches from the bottom. Yeah, that's good. You see nothing this man can't do. That's strong enough to support you anyways. Easy peasy. Here we have the finished chick show. It's quite bigger than Quite a bit bigger than most of the ones I've seen on the internet, but hopefully we'll be able to drag it around the fields. Here's a little entrance door for them. Hopefully I'll automate that at some stage. And here's where they're going to be in at night on their little perches. Then in at the back there on the left hand side have them blocked off now and I'll open them up in the morning. But they're the nest boxes where they'll go in and lay their eggs. The whole thing is just covered in this. It's kind of like a a curtain for the side of a truck. And here we have the egg collection box. So they'll lay their eggs in there on them little mats and they'll roll back hopefully onto this piece of carpet, which I will get some more of them egg mats that I have in there. I didn't get enough, but for now it'll be fine. And then here's the back entrance. That's the date when it's done. Dad likes to put the date on things. And a view from the other side. It's, um, it'll be tested right now, actually, because it's just started to rain. We're going to bring it up and leave it in the field with the hens and see how it goes. We've got this wire mesh on the floor, so, and they're perching on their little perches there. They'll leave the droppings and hopefully it falls straight down onto the pasture, which saves us having to clean anything. And then also it's on these little, or on these bicycle wheels here on the side, which it's a bit heavy for them, I think. We might have to amend it later on, but... Um, our hens have started laying so I need to get this up and the hens used to it. I hope they take to it. And here we have its first test. We'll uh, see how it goes. It seems pretty easy to bring along. I wonder how it'll be on the pasture. But there's the old for sale sign for the house. Pity it's upside down. You reckon it'll be hard to pull up? No, he seems pretty confident. We'll see how it goes. This is just a trial run. I'd like to build a, a nicer looking one sometime. It's a bit blue for my liking, but we'll see how it goes. Here she comes. Me two helpers. And it raining. Where are you going? You're going up onto the grass. Here, I'll give you a hand. So here are 30 hens and our turkeys getting ready to go into their new house. Um, I hope to take to it. We'll see how it goes. They'll be a bit apprehensive, I'm sure, for the first few days. So I'm going to try to separate the hens and the turkeys. So the turkeys are going to live in this for the foreseeable, and the hens are going to live in this. Come away, Liam. Don't break that door. So it's the hens first night with the new uh, chick shaw. And I came out here to see where they all in it and I was going closing it up for the night. It's now 11 o'clock and they were all just piled up here on the grass behind me. I spent the last half an hour picking them all up and yeah, they were easy caught because they're kind of sleepy. And this is the last fella or lady and she's going back in with her friends. So here they all are in for the night. They'll, uh, they'll get used to it tonight and tomorrow morning and hopefully tomorrow they'll come back in. Some of them might need a little bit of a hand and then hopefully after three days you'll have broken the cycle and they'll want to come in here every night. Down at the back there we have the turkeys. They were already in earlier on. 
why we have turkeys. Here I have these um, pieces of plastic in here into their nest boxes. I'm just gonna use them for the time being to keep them out of the nest boxes at night. And in the morning, I will come in here and I'll uh, take them out so they can jump into the nest boxes, hopefully, and start laying eggs for me. So it's our first day having the chickens in the chick shop. They stayed in there last night. I had to put them in myself, but that was no harm. And now I'm gonna check the delay any eggs in their nest boxes. Oh my God, they have. And they all look perfect and clean. Okay, let's check the other side. I can't see any on the pasture, so we could be on to a winner. Lovely. I need to sort this out a little bit and um, get a bit more of this nest mat here. So the laying up there and the eggs roll away from the hens down in here to the clean area so they don't get any dirt on them. This is great. I can't see any eggs on the pasture. Or underneath the egg mobile, or sorry, chick shell. But I see a lot of happy hens and a lot of clean eggs. I'm delighted. So now I'm just going to open up the back of the chick shell. Oh, I see one or two eggs actually in here. Caught on the mesh, but it's no problem. That's my issue at the minute. I'll sort that one out soon enough. And now I'm just going to put in these dividers. It's all we have for the minute, but it worked last night. And I'll just put this in here and it'll stop the egg or hens from going in at night. And as Joel Salatin says, leaving their calling card. So we'll leave that like that, keep the nest boxes clean and I'll open it up again in the morning. So it's just after dusk and all these ladies are still out on pasture. They should be going in at this stage. So I'm just going to leave them for another hour or so. And I've got a light just shining in there to give it a bit of brightness and we will See, did it go in? I'll come up in about another half an hour and see her day in. Okay, so tonight, night number two, they're not so eager to go in. There are some in there, some under there, which are going to be hard to get. And then the majority of them down out the back again. Just going to have to put them in. So, everybody's in. There's all the ladies at the back perched in. And here... The ones that I put in at the front end of it. So hopefully I don't have to do this too many more nights. So that's everybody in. It takes quite a while to put 30 of them in. Well, there's about maybe 20 of them out there. But hopefully every night now they see sense and they go in themselves. I'll do this for another few nights. And then if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to try a different tactic. Okay, this is night four. That they've been in their chick show. And... um. We're getting some successes. There's one wandering around here on pasture, but I think they're pretty much all in there. Granted, they're just in there. Oh no, we've got four more here, so that's five all together. Anyone around here? No. Okay, we can deal with that. There's five hens out tonight. And yeah, that's great. So hopefully they'll keep getting better at this. And maybe move a bit further in the door as well. That's probably why these other fellas couldn't get in.